Hey everyone, this is TJ Macho 7. Thanks for coming. Welcome to part two of my gold farming series. Today, while starting with only seven copper, we're gonna jump into Dragon Soul 25 Man Heroic. We're starting right now with my Death Knight, whose high level is at 698. And as you can see in the bags, that's only seven copper. This is just so that when we get to the end, we'll be able to see almost exactly how much gold we can get from killing the bosses and then vendoring the items that we get from them. Now there are eight bosses in Dragon's Hole. Each boss can drop anywhere between 120 to 130 gold. Plus, each boss can drop a bunch of items which then can be vendored, ranging anywhere between eight gold to about 45 gold or more. Now Dragon's Soul can take about 30 minutes to clear. Now the reason why it takes about 30 minutes is because of the role playing that goes on with the NPCs. Not necessarily controllable. Now. The total amount of gold that, on average, that I have been able to get every week from this raid is about 2,000 gold. Now, for you mount farmers on Altraxian here, once you kill this boss, you have a chance of actually looting a mount called Experiment 12B. It's a nice little dragon that you can get. And after you kill Altraxion, if you folks do not have large bags or don't have a lot of bag space, you can mount up on the ship here, as you see, and then just vendor the current items that you have. Now at this point that we are at, I'm sitting at already 1,245 gold. Now most of the bosses are fairly simple fights. Gunship does take a bit, but the one boss that I really want to focus on right now, for those of you that have never been here, is the Spine of Deathwing. Spine of Deathwing is not a great fight. I don't like it. That's just my personal opinion. The thing about this fight is, is that you can't just stand on his back and kill anything you want. There is sort of a fine line that's down in the middle of his back where if you stand on the left side of his back for a long enough time, he will roll to the left. And if you stand on the right, he'll roll to the right, of course, which will then lead you to automatically dying, which you cannot avoid. So in order for you to proceed through this fight, you have to continue to go back and forth, getting the messages that Deathwing is going to roll left or Deathwing is going to roll right, and only stay at one side of his back for a short period of time. Now you can continue this fight running back and forth, or what I do is I just run in a circle as you see in the video. It kind of makes me dizzy, but I try not to pay attention to it. Okay, so in order for you to defeat this fight, at first you have to kill the corruption tentacles around you, which will then spawn hideous amalgamations. These ads are important. But first, you're going to have to get rid of these first ones. So just go ahead, stand in one of the holes that the tentacles were in, and you'll get a buff called Grasping Tendrils, which will hold you on, on the boss. And when he rolls over, the ads will be cleared and, and off his back, and you'll be able to then continue on in proceeding to collect the ads called Corrupted Bloods. Now, when you gather up these Corrupted Bloods, you want to have about nine. And then once you have about nine, kill them off in one spot because they have a, they leave a little puddle that's going to be very important and then you finally kill one of the corruption tentacles that are up to spawn a hideous amalgamation get that hideous amalgamation to be running over those little puddles and when he does run over a puddle he gets a stack once he gets to nine stacks he becomes unstable when he becomes unstable take him to the big back plate in front of you for it to explode and when it explodes it will then loosen the back plate from deathwing's back and then reveal underneath it a mob called Burning Tendon, which then you kill. Once you kill it, the backplate will fly off, and then you can proceed to repeat again for the next two times. Granted, you're doing all of this while you're running back and forth, back and forth, or running in a circle. And like I said, I don't like this fight. It's very long, and it's very tedious. And the thing is about this fight is that, unlike all the other fights, this one requires a lot of maneuverability and precision killing. After that, you just jump in to defeat the Madness of Deathwing. Another bonus for you mount collectors out there, Madness of Deathwing has a chance of dropping two mounts. One is called Lifebinder's Handmaiden, and the other one is called Reigns of the Blazing Drake. Two pretty cool mounts. If you folks run this raid, I hope it drops for you. Okay, so now we have finished up clearing Dragon Soul. Let's go ahead and vendor all the items, and then find out in the end how much total we got. Now it looks like after clearing this entire instance, we are about under 30 minutes. And the total amount of gold that we have reached is 2,224 gold. Not bad. Alright folks, this concludes our second part of our gold farming series. Next time we're going to jump into another Cataclysm raid that we can be able to farm. 
and see how much gold we can get from that. But until then, I'll see you next time. You folks have a great day. Take care.